Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Caslo. In this video, I will be talking about the governor of RBI as you can see on the screen. In this video, I will be talking about the role of RBI governor and their responsibility in light of RBI Act that is Reserve Bank of India Act 1935, particularly from the context of upcoming UPSC examination. So let's start with the video. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe my video if you like or if it is benefiting you in some or the other way. So let's begin. So before we start, let me tell you brief about the Reserve Bank of India. So what is Reserve Bank of India? Reserve Bank of India is a central bank of India and it is the bank which is responsible for regulating the country's monetary policy. This central bank of India that is Reserve Bank of India is established under the RBI Act of 1935 which established the central bank and outlines its function and its responsibilities that it has to function in the country's economy. So let's come back to our topic that is RBI governor. So RBI governor is the head of the institution and he is the responsible for managing the central bank's affair that is state of affair including the monetary policy and the banking regulation in the country. So the governor of RBI is appointed by the central government of India that is prime minister and its cabinet under section 8 of the RBI Act 1935 and his primary responsibility is to ensure the stability of the country's financial system. So the present RBI governor appointed by the government of India is Shakti Kanta Das who has been appointed as the 25th governor of Reserve Bank of India and let me tell you that the first Reserve Bank of India's governor was Sir Osborne Smith who was appointed in the year 1926 during the British period as a managing governor of the Imperial Bank of India. The Imperial Bank of India was the Central Bank of India which is now known as the Reserve Bank of India. Let me also tell you that the first Indian governor who Indian governor of the Reserve Bank of India was the C.D. Deshmukh who served his term from the August 11, 1943 to June 30, 1949. So C.D. Deshmukh was the first Indian governor of the Reserve Bank of India. The government of India that is Prime Minister and its cabinet also appoint the deputy governor for the Reserve Bank of India who perform and help the governor of the Reserve Bank of India in the functioning of the Reserve Bank of India. So both that is governor and the deputy governor of the Reserve Bank of India has to work together in achieving the goal that is balancing the need of the economy, the government and the people of India by regulating all the monetary policies in India. But if we look in the recent year, the role of Reserve Bank of India's governor and the deputy governor has been increasingly important because especially India's economy has been growing and has becoming more complex in nature. So their role has become more important than it was in the earlier times. Therefore, governor has to function various functions and he is responsible for making various decisions such as interest rates, inflation targets and other monetary policies that could impact the economy's overall health and the stability in India. What is the qualification of RBI governor? So if we look at the RBI Act of 1935, the Act does not include any explicit requirement of educational qualification to be appointed as the RBI governor which means that the RBI Act of 1935 does not mention any specific requirement educationally to be appointed as a governor of Reserve Bank of India. So speaking historically every individual with a variety of educational background has been appointed as the governor of Reserve Bank of India but however it is to be noted that it is widely accepted that the governor of the Reserve Bank of India should possess knowledge of financial and economic strategies which is typically gained through education and experience in the field of economy or finance. 
So previous governors of the RBI have often had the background of economics or have held the position of economic affairs secretary or secretary even though belong to different or they possess different educational qualifications but they had one thing common that is economics. Therefore, it can be said that the qualification for the RBI governor is more a matter of convention than a strict rule outlined in the RBI Act of 1935. So, what is power and function of Reserve Bank of India? So, if you look at the Reserve Bank of India Act 1935, the governor has the function as the following. One, that is monetary policy. That is, the governor of Reserve Bank of India is responsible for formulating and implementation of the policy, that is monetary policy of the country. This, this monetary policies include interest rates and other key policy parameters that affect the availability and the cost of the credit in the economy. Important function or the responsibility of the governor of Reserve Bank of India is the financial stability. The Reserve Bank of India's governor also has the power and responsibility to promote the financial stability in the country. This also includes monitoring the financial system for the potential risk and taking appropriate measures to overcome them or to mitigate them. The third important function of the governor of RBI is to regulate and supervision. The RBI governor is also responsible for regulating and supervising the banking and the financial sector. This also includes issuing license to the bank and other financial institution, setting the prudence norms and the guidelines and conducting inspections or conducting audits of the financial institutions and the banks in the country. The fourth function of the Reserve Bank of India's governor is the currency management. This is the important function of the Reserve Bank of India because it is the governor of the Reserve Bank of India to manage the currency of the country. The Reserve Bank of India's governor manage the currency of the country by issuing and circulating the currency notes and coins in the economy of the country, maintaining the stability and exchange rate in the country with the foreign currency and managing the foreign exchange reserve. All these come under the currency management. The fifth important function of the Reserve Bank of India's governor is the representation. This means that the Reserve Bank of India also represents the central bank that is the Reserve Bank of India at various national as well as the international forums. This also includes participating in the meetings of the Monetary Policy Committee representing the RBI at the international organizations such as IMF that is International Monetary Fund and the World Bank and engaging with the other stakeholders in the financial system all over the globe. So, if we conclude the lecture, we can say that the governor of the Reserve Bank of India has a significant power and function related to monetary policy, financial stability and regulation and also play a crucial role in maintaining the stability and the growth of the Indian economy. So this is all about the governor of the Reserve Bank of India. In the next video, we will come with some other important topic related to UPSC. Till then, like, share and subscribe my channel.